Building an AR-10 can seem intimidating, but if you've pieced together an AR-15, you can definitely build an AR-10 or an LR-308. The two biggest differences between an AR-15 and an AR-10 is A, labeling. The LR-308 and AR-10 are different. Here's a picture of an LR-308. It has a rounded lower at the stock, similar to an AR-15. Here's a picture of an AR-10. It has a ramped lower at the stock. Make sure your upper receiver will match your lower. Because of the popularity of the name AR-15, many companies like Aero Precision like the labeling of an AR-10, but in actuality, Aero Precision uses an LR-308 design. Just make sure that your lower matches your upper and you will be good to go. B. The upper receiver and handguard comes in a high and low profile. Make certain that your upper receiver and handguard are both high profile or both low profile and you will be good to go. Today I'll take you on my journey in building a custom caliber AR-10 called the 22 Atomizer. This is a Wildcat Caliber by Bruce Finnegan. It is a neck down 6.5 Creedmoor case to a 22 caliber with a 40 degree shoulder. So basically a 22 Creedmoor Ackley improved called the Atomizer. Bruce predicted max velocity would be reached between 24 to 20 six inches me being me i went with a 28 inch x caliber barrel to squeeze out the most velocity for an upcoming prairie dog and coyote hunt i ran a bore scope to see the condition of the crown rifling and lands i was amazed at how clean it looked bruce informed me to still go ahead and clean it before shooting i ran three wet patches and three dry patches These are the accessories I used for this build. Because of the length of this barrel, I needed a plus two rifle length gas tube purchased through White Oak Armament. I used Air Precision high profile upper receivers for all of my AR-10 builds. The handguard is a high profile Hontech 19 inch slim profile from AR-15 handguards. It came with a steel barrel nut. I also purchased a .936 diameter mini low profile steel gas block from AR-15 handguard. Both the M-Lock rail and the QD release came from Magpul. I don't have a vice block for an AR-10 slash LR-308 build, so I found some scrap wood and made my own. The goal is to isolate any movement from the upper receiver when installing the barrel in the barrel nut. Here is the final result. I secured the vice into the vice block. I tested it for any wiggle. Before attaching the barrel, I always run removable blue Loctite in the middle of the lug. I slowly twisted it to match the barrel nut to the upper receiver slot. I installed the steel barrel nut. Before hard mounting it, I always run acrylic glue, also known as fingernail polish, on top of the upper receiver. I tightened the barrel nut, then took an adjustable wrench to really crank it on. You could buy specific wrenches per barrel nut size, but Bruce informed me just to get an adjustable wrench and muscle it on. I slipped on the handguard to see if the nut would align properly. After eyeballing it, it needed just a slight more torque. Let me tell you, this took some serious effort. I eyeballed it one more time and the handguard rail matched the upper receiver rail. Before securing the handguard to the upper receiver, I needed to install the gas block to the gas tube. There's a specific mount you could buy for this job, but I've used this technique multiple times with no issues. If you're gonna do it this way, don't drop the roll pin. I slipped on the gas block and secured it with the hex key and screws. Next, I slipped on the handguard and secured it with the hex key and six hex screws. I removed the upper receiver from the homemade vice block and inspected it. Next, I inserted the charge handle to the bolt carrier group, then married the upper receiver to the lower. I mounted the Magpul rail mount to the bottom of the handguard, then screwed on the Atlas BT-10 bipod to the Magpul mount. Finally, I installed the single port muzzle brake on the 28 Excal barrel. I had Bruce turn a 5 8 and 2 4 threading, and here's the final build. My next video, I'll be doing a load development for the Wildcat 22 Atomizer, so stay tuned for my next adventure.